Now that you've seen how we can switch things independently using the aux menu, let's look at how we can use the memory section to switch our auxes as well. Now obviously at any time we can assign an aux to either program ME1 or ME2 and use the T-bar and effects that come with the ME to add keys, picture and pictures, etc. to one of our aux feeds. But let's look at just switching the auxes without using the ME's but using the memory section. So I'll go into my aux menu and I'm going to start by setting up my previews. So I'm going to turn multiple select on to make my life a little easier here. We're going to select our left and right preview and we'll send them to VTA and our center screen is going to go to our video deck and our downstage monitor I think we'll send it to the video deck as well. So we have our previews set up into their various sources. We can now go into the memory section I'm going to store a preset. We're going to call this preset 100 because why not? And we're going to disable all of our functions except for what we have in our auxes. So we're going to only have our previews selected. So with our previews selected, we then store that preset. Now when I recall that preset, only my previews will be recalled. So we can, uh, for instance, have all these on a different source. When I recall preset 100, we we're going to automatically assign all of our previews. We can then use aux trans to transition those pre previews. We can store several presets, up to a thousand uh, presets, for all the various combinations of the auxes. We can also store the programs if we wanted to and do a hard cut to program if on the preset recall. By only storing the previews, we then have the ability to transition seamlessly uh, so that the audience sees a dissolve from source to source instead of a cut.